Hello. Um, this is my second video concerning alternate tuning for uh, ukuleles, and this one involves using uh, octave mandolin tuning for uh, baritone ukuleles. And uh, um, this is an instrument that I get a lot of compliments on, a lot of questions when I'm playing out. Um, People are intrigued because it sounds very similar to a guitar, but it's obviously a ukulele. Um, so I, I thought I might uh, share this idea. Uh, it's not, not my original idea. I found out about this. It sounded out that other people were doing this, and I was intrigued. Um, in part because I was interested in getting an, an actual octave mandolin. Um, which uh, is an instrument that is tuned like a mandolin but on one octave lower. Um, when I looked into it, I found out that they're very expensive. You, the the cheaper ones are like four hundred dollars. So I thought maybe I'll I'll try a cheaper option first and see what I think. Um, and I'd heard that people were using uh, that tuning octave mandolin tuning on baritones, you know, with just nylon strings. So I picked up this uh, vintage uh, Kingston, it was a little beat up, I fixed it up, put some nylon strings on it, and I really like it. Um, it's, it's a very different sound, it's uh, the deeper sound I think is more suited for my voice, so I've been doing a lot of writing on it. Um, and uh, so first uh, I'm going to backtrack a little and talk about the traditional tuning for a baritone ukulele which is essentially the four highest uh, strings uh, on a guitar which would be D, G, B, and E. Um, this is, is a little, this is um, D, or, sorry, G, D, A, and E, like a mandolin. Um, so you, st you still get to use the uh, easy chords, um, and you get something that sounds a little like this. So it, it's it's a nice deep resonant sound. And um, yeah, so I really like it. Uh, you might be wondering, well, where do I get, where would I get strings for this? Um, there there are two options. Some people get. A combination of nylon guitar strings and pair them up with a set of um, baritone ukulele strings and mix and match and honestly I don't know why in the world they're going to all that trouble uh, because a standard set of high tension classical guitar strings gives you everything you need because um, you've already you get a regular guitar nylon guitar string set. And you've already got the D, you've got the E. Um, for the A, you have two choices. You've got, you can use the B string and go down a note, or you can use the G string and go up a note. Um, I prefer the G because you, you're going up, you don't lose any tension. And that brings us to the, the D, or the G string, which is a little trickier. You you have two options there as well. You have you can use the A string on a guitar set, which is what I did the first time, and all you have to do is just you, you're just going one note lower when you string it up. 
The problem I found was it it didn't have enough tension, I thought. It kind of was kind of buzzy, it just kind of seemed like it was flopping around. So this last time I used the E string and pulled it all the way up to G. Now, I would caution if you're doing that, don't tune it all the way up to G on the first day. Do it over a couple, the course of a couple days, because this is this is a wound string. Uh, and if my understanding is, if you crank that up too quickly, the the metal winding here can uh, be damaged and frayed. Um, so just, I would say, just tune it up to E the first day, or the first, you know, one night. Let it sit overnight. Next day, next morning, pull it up to F. You know, leave it there. You get home from work, pull it up to F sharp. You know, later that night, go ahead and bring it up to G. You know, just take your time because, as most of you know, new strings on an instrument, you're not really going to be able to play it for a few days. But you know, you're going to have to give it a few days for the strings to stretch out before you can really play it anyway. But, um, yeah, I would say give this a try. Um, I, like I say, I, I really like it. It's become one of my favorites. And um, it's, it's easy to do. You're to just not going to cost you anything other than uh, the price of a set of guitar strings and a little bit of time. So give it a shot. Thanks for watching.